morning everybody this is video number two in the series i'm doing of why i'm leaving being a company driver and why i switched over to becoming an owner operator in the hot shot trucking industry as you can see behind me this is the freight that i'm hauling uh in my nine to five job if you will um i run normally sunday to friday do my resets every week and at home which is nice but the money's just not there for me um, so I want to give you guys a first-hand account of kind of what my day looks like as a company driver and uh, some of the cons some of the pros and uh, yeah, let's just kick off the video from there all right that is right <laughs> so my job allows us to haul up to 106,000 pounds if the state um, allows that on their highways um, I drive a 2017 Freightliner Cascadia with a 53 foot Mack trailer. I have a drop axle here, my two permanently fixed axles here, and a drop tag axle here in the back. Um, most of our loads exceed our 53 foot deck on our trailer. This one happens to be 60 feet, so I have about three and a half, four feet of overhang here. And off the back end and definitely four feet off the front uh, don't mind my messy strap and uh, equipment box <laughs> but uh, yeah I just want to give you guys a rundown of what I haul and why I'm leaving being a company driver and doing my own thing and as an owner operator in hot shot trucking so there's my tarps and all that so yeah the loads Fairly tall, could go higher obviously, but uh, this load came in right at 99,000 pounds. Um, that's with truck and trailer and the load combined. So yeah, um, we're gonna get unloaded here. This load picked up in Homedale, Idaho and uh, delivered up here to Spokane, Washington. From here, I'll reload over in Lewiston, Idaho and deliver to Boise, Idaho. So, yeah, definitely follow and I will take you through what my day looks like. Hey everyone, so I'm picking this uh, video back up. I just got to Lewiston, Idaho. It is 1024 in the uh, morning here. Um, called into the receiving department. I'm just waiting for a forklift driver to come pick me up so uh, they can take me back to where I'll be getting loaded. And uh, I'll continue the video there. All right, guys, so Lewiston, Idaho, where I picked up um, at the lumber place there, they were not too fond of me doing a video recording. I asked them if I could, and they said with their policy, I'd have to get advanced, you know, written administrative uh, permission, which I didn't have time for, obviously. I was just in and out there. Uh, we got down to Boise, unloaded and everything, and uh, yeah, so... That was kind of my work day. Um, this company keeps us up in the Northwest quite a bit. I average like 2,600 to 3,300 miles a week. Uh, it's not bad, but the pay, um, you know, I'm right around 12, 1,300 when I'm at 3,300 miles. So I know there's more money to be made as an owner operator. Um, watched a lot of Landstar videos. Um, big shout out to Toe Piglet and hauling cash i follow both of those guys on here on youtube uh, give you kind of a good startup guide how to get into the hot shot trucking some of the pros some of the cons you get a you know a visual of their daily life and uh, the money that can be made in a smaller truck running uh, expedited freight is a lot more encouraging than this heavy haul stuff i'm doing now there's a lot of liability as far as axle weights um, a lot of stuff that you have to pay attention to and you know if you're not an owner operator in this and you're just a company driver you know you're looking at making anywhere from like 35 cents up to maybe 40 45 uh, cents a mile and uh, you know some places like where I'm at right now they have incentives for tarping it's like an extra 20 bucks every stop is like 10 15 or 20 dollars I don't remember uh, so it's interesting how they break it up over your settlement. Uh, you do have benefits here, obviously the company where I'm at right now pays the uh, driver's benefits 100%. And then I have my kids and everything on an insurance plan, which is 
fairly good considering uh, looking at the marketplace and buying outside of the company policy was super expensive so it's a little bit more affordable um, to do it through the company but um, you know weighing weighing those uh, details kind of being the company driver aspect to being an owner operator it's definitely in more favor for myself my lifestyle um, kind of my budget of life that, you know, going the owner operator out uh, will not only give me more freedom, but uh, bring in the income to uh, afford my lifestyle. So take care of my kids. I am divorced uh, and have uh, three girls with my ex-wife. So definitely got the child support, definitely, you know, healthcare, all that stuff is on uh, weighing on my shoulders. And so, yeah, I want to be able to provide the best that I can for them. Uh, my fiance, she has two kids, so you know we got a whole whole house full of uh, <laughs> little ones running around, um, you know, with five kids and trying to get a house built and and everything. And being a company driver, you know, if you're already established and just wanted something to keep you home, you know, on the weekends, like this isn't a bad gig, but definitely, you know, I just turned 30 on September 8th, and um, I'm not getting any younger like the rest of us, so. Just trying to get out there make as much money as we can and be able to enjoy the later years of our life but for now i'm going to end here i'll pick back up um uh, monday or tuesday october like fifth or sixth and uh, i'll go over some of the more of the landstar stuff that i've had to uh, go over in that video and everything uh, each day you know we're communicating back and forth with the uh, landstar leasing reps and uh, filling out more and more for them. So I'll go over more of that in the uh, next video. But thank you guys for watching. And uh, yeah, definitely stay tuned. Thanks.